Now, what I found out is that even though I have no skills in rhetoric, I speak like I'm rambling all the time when I'm doing these videos. And I really only have good speaking skills when I'm doing shit in front of actual people and not in a camera where I feel like I'm a psychopath who's talking to himself. But I think I've caused some people to get really mad. When I don't explain everything, people act like they want to kill me. No, people act like they want to stalk and rape me. And that's a good thing. That means I'm doing things correctly. Because people want me to explain everything, then they don't see me as some complete charlatan who they should just ignore or troll. It means that they know that I legitimately believe in what I believe. And that's a good thing. So the question is, what's commonly collective or commune? And what's commonly private? You see, you write that right there. Anyway. Now to answer this question, I gotta think. What worked for privatization and what didn't work for privatization and what's naturally private and what's not naturally private and I gotta think about the other thing for communes and collective or mutual property or public property they're all moderately different anyway I hate when I say anyway I do it way too much So there's five basic essentials, and this kind of gyrates a little bit, but I'm going to speak about the fundamentals. The fundamentals is that water, irrigation, dams, bridges, rivers, lakes, and streams must be public, collective, or communes. That's the fundamental. Air must be a commune. Imagine what will happen if they privatize air. I'm sure there's no infinium of air, but to privatize it, that's just ridiculous. Especially me. <laughs> All the times I jack off, I really don't want there to be an instance where someone has to tell me, Oh, you gotta stop doing that. It's making you breathe harder. It's a waste of money. Regardless, what has to be private? Well, you can tell by possessions that food and Floating must be privatized. They have to be privatized. If they're distributed or collectivized or even communes, then it won't work because to like not everyone has access to these things. You have to find the right animal, to find the right material. You have to like fix up all that stuff and it won't be convenient for that to be commune that's the key word convenient because in the five essentials five basic essentials you want convenience it can work the other way around but people commonly cling to what's convenient so I'm not saying that these are unable to exist on the other form, that there will be won't be times where air or rivers, lakes, and streams won't be privatized. I saw I remember there was a stateless society that existed where everything was private. Once the roads and alleys weren't private, but eventually they became private and it wasn't successful when this happened. Well, it was pretty good. It was better than a state, but 
it's not polycentric. It's not universal. Therefore, it isn't convenient and will and will eventually collapse or is more likely to eventually collapse. And then the fifth one's, of course, shelter. The shelter is very complicated. Like, should homes be collectivized or privatized? This is the one where everyone sort of puts analogies to these things. Because naturally, it doesn't make sense to some people to reuse the one thing to cling to the other. Vice versa. I mean, some people hate the fact that they have it privatized and want it to be collectivized, and some people hate that they have it collectivized and want it to be privatized. It's not very common territory when it heads into shelter. Personally, I think shelter should be privatized because naturally stateless societies out of why do I use that word too much? That try a collectivized system in a place that's harsh like extremely cold in the winters and they're looking for shelter it has to be privatized otherwise they're all gonna die pretty much so this is basically my video I know I'm very crappy when it comes to running mini cam but That's a fundamental thing. To evaluate the point of this video, I'll just bring it out there. Air and rivers, lakes, and streams have to be collectivized. Food and clothing have to be privatized. Shelter is a little bit mixed matched. So if you, so if you're still curious, trying to have me explain more of my shit, there you go.